so much. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> Babe, when did you go to Starbucks? Really? Yesterday or this morning? Last night. No, he, yeah, yeah, it's this morning. He woke me up with a massage and then said, let's go make coffee together. And I come out to this. This is so cute. Steph was working too. She was like, oh, is this, is this for his house? Um... Mother's Day Starbucks. Aww. I can make this with the baby. Oh. oh. Thank you. You're gonna be the best big sister mommy could ever wish for. I just left real quick to pick up my sister's flowers. My sister flowers. So while Kiko is finishing up breakfast, I thought I would just sneak out of the house real quick, go pick up some flowers. It'll just be easy, simple. Done. I go to Safeway, wait in a line outside of Safeway, and I get inside, and Safeway flower, floral department was empty. Empty, like you couldn't even find one flower. And if you've ever walked into a Safeway and you see the assortment of flowers, they have a lot. On the way to Safeway, I saw the farmer's markets, like our local farmer's market, and I thought, oh, I should stop there, and then... I it just I don't know just something told me to go to Safeway. I literally walked in saw the flowers the line walked out And I was like I called Kiko like oh my god. I don't know what to do I was like, I'm just gonna go check the farmers market um, It was right across the street from the Safeway There was like these Hawaiian plants and I can't really explain them, but maybe I'll pop one right here There was one tent of flowers giant buckets and they had these like it's like called like bird of paradise, but the stems are so long. They're almost like the kind you put in like the memorial and it was five bucks for one for one and they were huge and the line was like Triple what Safeway was the whole farmers market was empty and there was only one line for these flowers And then this guy walks right in front of me and he has this little bouquet of all the same flowers Like all the Hawaiian flowers, but miniature in this little beautiful bouquet. So the lady in front of me takes off running she left her husband right in front of me and she took off running she i'm watching her she goes into front of the tent it's like this hidden little tent she goes back calls her husband and she goes come come so he goes running over there so i go running over there because i was in line for no option really what i see is a a little tiny bucket this lady was selling like fruits and veggies but she had a little bucket of three of these gorgeous little arrangements for eight bucks mind you the other lady was selling one of these for five dollars and the stem went like to here so i grabbed the last three that they had so i scored i'm so happy i can't believe it and i want to remember there come here, bro my first task that i want is can you please make my bed? Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. No saying no to mom today. No saying no to mom today. What is the next thing now? Can you go and get me my coffee in the living room or in the dining room table? Oh, this really is going to work out in my favor today. What is the next task? Thank you. Um, nothing now. Just go hang out and have fun. Can you actually go put this in the um counter or in the? Yes. She went. <sighs> Honey, it's only 9 a.m. Ayla, can you go get me a scrunchie? Yes. <laughs> can every day be like this? No. 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 I just need my phone, my camera rolling all day. This is this is great so far. Where's mom's phone? She's like, can you go get me my phone? And she's like, oh, yes. Where is your phone, mom? I just love that you created this challenge for us mom. today. So can you please find my phone for me? No. <gasps> Ask daddy to call it. I'm officially motherfied. Something you should know about me is this is one of my favorite, most iconic mom dresses. What I wore all the time pregnant with Ayla. I've now been pregnant with all three of my children in this dress. We're going to go and hang out with my sister and spend Mother's Day with her for her first Mother's Day ever. I'm so, 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 so excited. Oh, look at her stuff. Mother's 
today. Oh, thank you so much. Say hi. Hi. Happy Mother's Day. I love her. Aww. It's a little matching with. I love it. Why are you crying? It's your first Mother's Day. Really? I've been looking for like a necklace that said Mama or like his name. Aww. Wow, did I nail that? <laughs> Candle. This is if this isn't me, I don't know what else is. We got some healing spray. Oh wow! Look at how beautiful. Mom, can I please tell you which one is my favorite? This one and this one. Wow! No, no, they're bath bombs. I have three boys on my lap right now. Three big boys. Dude, look at you. Is it good? I think he likes it. He's just not making the appropriate face. I want to be like you when I grow up, eh? Hey. You can go. Go okay, ahead, so girl. Take it over. Right, right now we're gonna do 24. Hours. We didn't finish the 24 hours thing. Yes, to mom tomorrow yesterday, mm -hmm. so we're gonna finish it. This is true. So we stopped filming because mom's camera died. It died, and that's only happened to me a few, few times in my life. Um, when I was doing something really important, and so I was all the way at my sister's house, and my camera died, and it was incredibly sad for me because. We ended up bringing enough stuff to go to our next destination, which was Kikoa's mom's house for dinner. We are going to resume because I missed out on, you know, just getting mom's way. The first thing that I want to do is our hair. Mm -hmm. And I get to do whatever I want to I, do. I'm going to do your hairstyle. No. Yes. No, mommy gets to do her own hair and I get to do your hair. So let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the challenge. This is gonna be so fun. Keep the enthusiasm, girl. We just got out of like a really cleansing bath. Her and I, we listened to some Billy, and like we did them. face masks I and bath like, soap. Like, yeah, Do you love it, eh? I can always do your hair like that. You're so beautiful. So the next thing that I really want to do is, do you want to paint nails? Yay! Kiko was making whipped coffee at 6 p.m. What time is it? I don't really even know. Okay, so we're gonna paint nails. Can you get all the stuff, please, my darling? Sure, she says. Love this. Um, and also, I wanted to paint your nails today. Does Ava lose the challenge already? That's what I was gonna pick. That's what I was gonna pick. Okay, you gotta clean this mess up first. Okay. Okay. I have a lot of different nail polishes, um, but they're all just kind of old. And so when this pandemic went down, we did our nails all the time and I realized how crap my nail polish was. And so we went out and tried to order online and no one ships nail polish. I actually didn't know that. Like I've tried Target, Amazon, so, when Keiko was at the store, I had him go into the nail polish section and pick me out two colors, a pastel blue and a pastel yellow. And he comes back with 
this gorgeous blue, but it, uh, it's honestly it's, not pastel. Uh, and it's sparkly. And an orange, but in person, one's truly orange and one's truly like almost like a soft and navy blue with like green sparkles in it. I am, and I bought new dressing. I bought all the goods to make a salad. salad. Avocado. Am I going to eat some salad? Oh, I can use this to my advantage to Mama. at least make you take a bite. Um, I want because a lot of little kids eat. like salads. I want to eat some food. It looks so beautiful, it right, cannot, guys? It cannot, baby. Oh, my goodness. My so beautiful. Look at my nails, guys. Beautiful. Let me see, mommy. Yeah. It's actually a really nice color. Wow. So I made myself like a little chef avocado salad with some Caesar dressing. Oh, babe. And then I made this a simple one for Ayla. Here she goes. Here she goes. Goes again. Stab it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm proud of you. Oh, it's not. Do you like it? Wow. <gasps> what? Babe? Yes, babe. Can you get me a chocolate chip cookie? Okay, babe. Okay, one more pizza, guys, and you guys will get a... Could I also get a foot massage? Okay, I'm busy. <laughs> I will, though, I will. I will as soon as I'm done, baby. I, I want to be a part of this challenge. Oh, my goodness. I am so proud of you. Let's see, brother, if he ate his mango. Almost. I'm gonna clean out here in the living room and I was wondering if you can fold all the laundry in the bed. I'm already disqualified me. Why am I even getting <laughs> even asked? Because he didn't. Anymore. So dinner is finished and I asked if he could do my feet and massage it and I did say he's disqualified. It smells like pina colada. Yeah, let's help each other, okay? Eating sun in the rain. Babe, we got something to show you. I've been waiting for this. Actually, take a look at something to show you. Take a look. Whoa. Oh, oh. The, the iPad. <gasps> and you guys put them away? And we yeah, put them Mama, away. Mama, I had the best help though. She was super good. Mama, Mama, I love my bed. <laughs> Oh, oh God, scares me. Oh my God. I'm very pleased. Thank you guys for helping. I want to know what we win. I love my bed. You win two babies and you get a privilege of putting them to bed. So that's officially going to be it for today's vlog. I love you guys so much. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there. We had a very successful Mother's Day. It was truly one of my favorite and best Mother's Day yet. Being with my sister all day and just spending the day with her and her first Mother's Day as a mother, just something she's always dreamed of her entire life. She is the best mother to my kids, the best mother to me, helped raise me and for me to be able to watch her and receive so much love and be able to celebrate her first Mother's Day like with her actual son that she's literally waited for her entire life, which truly made it one of my favorite Mother's Day yet. Some of you guys may or may not know, but I actually grew up without my mom for many, many years. Mother's Days that I can recall when she wasn't around and, um, I didn't get to see her this Mother's Day and so it brought back a lot of emotions for me and I did have a couple times where I was you know kind of upset because she could have seen us if um, she chose but she there's just other like there's just other things going on in her life and unfortunately she didn't see the kids are throwing a fit for cute wall for bed Unfortunately, she didn't see the importance of today and what today meant 
I'm not today but Mother's Day and like what it meant like to my sister and like what it meant to me watching my sister um, it's her oldest daughter first Mother's Day and it was just unfortunate that she didn't see that as an important special holiday and I'm truly gonna be making videos um, this year that is my goal this year to make videos and kind of just share with you guys a lot um, from my past not getting in too deep because one I like you guys to come here and it be a very positive and amazing experience um, where I can just brighten your day the way that I feel vlogging brightens mine um, you guys truly help me be the best version of myself and I truly mean that with everything I say and so I never want to make this space like a negative space because some of the things that I really do deal with on a daily basis, I never talk about um, because one, it's so just out of my control and it has nothing to do with me, but somehow it consumes my life because of the people that are in my life, if that makes sense. But another thing is because it's I feel like it's not my place to talk about a lot of things um, and I'm starting to realize that these are things that I deal with and it's happened It's happening to me even though I'm just like the bystander watching it even though the reason my mom left I was also affected by it greatly and This Mother's Day I was freshly remembered of some feelings that has been tucked away for quite a while um, so even though it was truly one of my favorite Mother's Day I also am just reminded how other people's actions really have um, the ability to take a toll on you in a little way that's not fair to me or my sister at all. And so this year I really do want to like share with you guys because I feel like the ways that I cope with these things and the way that I move past it in a positive like sun kiss light one could really help you guys i really feel like i can't take all the credit for being this strong super mom but my sister truly like when things go wrong like she is so strong and she is so just like lets you see how unimportant those things are i officially am gonna end it at that note i love you guys so much thank you guys for listening tuning in and being a part of our day before i go i'm gonna give the biggest post notification shout out to my sister she is my number one subscriber she watches every single one of my videos and today was truly a special day because of how i gotta celebrate her tonight's for you sissy i love you so much and i love all my subscribers and i'll see you guys next time for another sun kiss day good night guys